Hey there and welcome to this Festival Pro tutorial video. Today we're going to take a little look at a brand new feature called inline editing. Now this is going to change the way that you kind of get at and use your data in Festival Pro. And it works with profile fields and you may already know um, that a recent update added the ability to add columns to any search results list. So you can kind of like customize your screen and I'll show you an example of this. Maybe I'll run a search for my artists on the main stage. And then here I've got a, a save of the kind of things that I want to see at this search. And I can now come in here and add some extra things in. So maybe I want to see um, their rider types. Let's just get rid of this stage and venue times. So now we can kind of click in here and just set all of the main stages riders. Now previously we could quite easily do this by coming in here and then finding that field which is down here and then choosing it and then saving it. But it's a lot quicker now that you can just do this come in and start changing all of these. Anything you change here directly reflects in their, their profile. So I've just given Neil Young a minimal rider, which I'm not too sure he's going to be overly happy with, but we can come in here, find his rider type, and sure enough, he's got a minimal rider. You can see this was updated um, just now. So this really does open up the realms of possibility um, in the way that you use your data in Festival Pro. And it's quite a major quality of life change just to speed up the process, being able to customize these columns to what you need and in effect build a spreadsheet and edit the cells all individually, um, updating your profiles as you go. Another example for this might be that we want to um, have all of our contractors and we're sat in the office and we want to know where our radio numbers are. Um, and I can just come in here and Ace Marquis come into the office. They've decided they're going to come in and take radio 43 and 22. And there we go. And this could be a save, perhaps a bookmark of different people. Um, and I could come in and then just edit these fields as I go. So there are a million different uses for this new update. And it's up to you guys to um, find out the best way to use it within your own festival environment, but we hope you find it useful. Um, we certainly have, and we can't wait to see what you do with it.